week saw the Carling Cup third round. In last year's final, it was Tottenham who lifted the trophy at Wembley with a 2-1 win over rivals Chelsea. The North Londoner's first piece of silverware for nine years, and it came in manager Wande Ramos' first season with the club. Their defence of that title began at Crisis Club Newcastle United. Former Spurs coach Chris Hewton has been the caretaker boss at St James's Park since the departure of Kevin Keegan. Commentary from Peter Brackley. Genus to O'Hara. Now Lennon. Three waiting in the box for Tottenham. Including Pavia Chenko! His first goal for Tottenham. And the fans are praying it will be the first of many. Roman Pagliacenko. Can they come back now in this Carling Cup tie? Well, they might not uh, have the chance because Tottenham have got a second now as they suddenly broke through to Jamie O'Hara and they were caught absolutely cold, Newcastle. Carlaccini, uh, why did he need to play that pass then to Taylor? Put him in all sorts of trouble. And it was a very clinical finish, all credit to him from O'Hara. Now, is there to be a stick here at the tail? It's Michael Owen! Who was not going to miss from there. And whatever the circumstances, you know Michael Owen can still come up with a goal any time. The Carling Cup is now the traditional testing ground for Arsenal's talented youngsters. Against Sheffield United, it took until just after the half hour for them to score. Nicholas Bentner with the strike, delighting his manager Arsene Wenger. They were at it again just a few minutes later. Summer signing from Cardiff, Aaron Ramsey, showing why he is such a hot property. The Welshman setting up Bentner to double his tally. There was time before the break for a third goal. Carlos Vela beating the offside trap and putting Arsenal out of reach. With an average age of just 19, the young gunners continued in the same vein in the second half. Vela once again showing his supreme class. The Mexican with his second and Arsenal's fourth. Two weeks ago, Jack Wilshire became the Gunners' youngest ever league debutant at 16 years, 265 days. Against Sheffield United, he scored his first goal. Five was not enough for Wenger's youngsters as they continued to carve open the blades. It was Ramsey again with the pass for Vela to seal his hat trick. 6 0 to Arsenal and a night to remember for the young Gunners. In a delayed second round match, new billionaires Manchester City travelled to the humble surroundings of League One Brighton. A team have struggled to stay afloat, and the Premier League side struck first. Fernandez Gelson with the deflected shot. That's the way it stayed until a minute from time. Stephen Thompson muscled through the City defence to set up Glenn Murray and draw the sides level and take the match into extra time. Brighton are stuck in mid-table in League One, but with the wind in their sails, the Seagulls continue to make the running. Joanne Yinsa putting the home side in front for the first time on the night. But fearing a shock, City fought back. Kasper Schmeichel's punt eluding everyone but Stephen Ireland. And so the match would go to penalties. It was 4-3 to Brighton in the shootout when Michael Ball stepped up. Michael Kuyper's save, meaning Matthew Richards simply needed to score. He netted to give Brighton a famous victory over the richest club in the world. It was an all-Premier League affair at Old Trafford as Manchester United welcomed Middlesbrough. Cristiano Ronaldo returning to the starting lineup for the first time this season. Commentary from Jim Proudfoot. In from Giggs and into the net. Cristiano Ronaldo is returned to the starting lineup. 
with a return to the score sheet as well. Hoyt in space, Downing can find him. From Gary O'Neill, sorry. Right footed volley deflected it in. 1 1. Adam Johnson with the equalising goal for Middlesbrough. The deflection deceiving Ben Amos. For Pressabon, who's perhaps a little bit inevitably, he's only 18, but just faded out of the game a little bit in this second half. He certainly didn't shirk that challenge, he was hurt as well by Degar, who's going to get a, a by Pogatek, sorry, and he's off. Emmanuel Pogatek sent off the serious foul play. It's a straight red, and Middlesbrough have 25 minutes to survive with 10 men. Oh, Riga with a terrible error, Ryan Giggs! 2-1 to Manchester United. You simply can't afford to give any Manchester United player that amount of charity. Here's Manucho, Tevez makes his way forward. Wita, Nani! 3-1, they're through to the fourth round, undoubtedly. In round four, Arsenal's youngsters will have Premier League opposition in Inform Wigan. Luis Felipe Scolari's first chance of silverware with Chelsea will be in this competition. His team face Burnley, while holders Tottenham must overcome Liverpool if they're to go further in this year's tournament. <laughs>